Hey folks, thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to uh, our channel, Family Treasures Metal Detecting. And uh, we hope that you uh, have enjoyed what you saw already on our, you know, from our channel. We hope that you'll enjoy this video. We really don't take it lightly that you've clicked on here. I hope you'll stay for the whole video. We've got a pretty, some pretty cool finds uh, in this video. Uh, this, of course, is, you know, the, you know, the third in a series that I've been doing. It's called, entitled, Beeping the Block. We, um, you know, was really fortunate to get permission on a whole block. Five different houses, five different owners. All gave us permission to detect their house. All these houses, late 1800s, that I can tell. Three of them I know for sure. The other two I'm not just kind of guessing, uh, but they're pretty old as well. I think they're right there with it. Had some great finds. If you if you watched our first two videos, I mean, Civil War things, post-Civil War things, seated, uh, a lot of really cool finds uh, in this video and or this series of videos. But this one's no exception. Got some really cool videos. Got a really old cool vintage ring you got to hang around and see. I uh, got, uh, you know, uh, I got a double of something. Uh, I don't want to give away, but I found a token that I just recently found this exact same one. In fact, this was in better shape than the one I found before. But, you know, it's odd to get, uh, you know, a same token of, you know, something that's, you know, not very common, that's for sure. Uh, then, uh, you know, something else. I, oh, I found a, I found something that's pretty historical, I think, for our area. And I was able to track down, you know, where this item came from. I don't want to give it away, so, you know, you know you'll watch the video. But uh, anyway, just some cool finds. Again, this is our, I think, our last, uh, you know, video for Beeping the Block. I didn't think it was going to amount to this many uh, videos, but I had a great time. I hope that you enjoy. And again, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. Help us out and share. Tell other folks. If you like this one, make sure you hit that like button. Let, you know, let us know. And, Give us some comments, give us some feedback, we'd appreciate that, all right? So, anyway, let's get right into the video, and we hope that you enjoy it, and uh, I hope that you have a great day or night, whatever time you're watching. Bye. Hey, folks, we're back at Beeping the Block here, and I got some kind of interesting. I don't know if you all can see that. It's closed on both ends. It's probably an inch and a half long. I'm wondering if it's like an old lipstick. A sample tube or something but it's very tiny Whoop. but hey that's kind of cool hopefully I can research that and figure out what that may be and tell you here in the next clip all right thanks for watching bye Hey folks, we're back at Beeping the Block, and as you can tell, I got something right there, and man, was it ever deep, it just came out, so about as deep as that booger, so I don't know what it is, but I just kind of thought we'd reveal it together, maybe a cap to a compact or something, lid, I don't know. Clean it up just a hair. See if we can see anything. I'm not seeing a thing, are you folks? I think it's just a makeup compact of some sort. Well, I was hoping they had something pretty interesting, pretty cool. I guess that's still pretty cool, but anyway. Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully we get on something a little bit better. Bye. All right, folks, I am back here at, on the Beeping the Block house, one of the houses here. Look what I found. Look how huge that is. Look at my thumb next to that. What in the world? <laughs> it's huge, and man, I'm telling you, it had to be almost a foot down, almost probably 12 inches. I mean, you can imagine what that's, you know, if you metal detect, you know what kind of signal that gave off. But it was deep. What in the world? There's my thumb next, my top of my thumb next to it. I don't know if that does it justice or not, but my goodness. <laughs> that is one honking key. 
I guess that's what that is. I don't know. A key plate or a scutcheon or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I just thought you'd like to see that. <laughs> Bye. Folks, we're back. And right after that big old honking key plate, <laughs> I got your engine right here. Look at that. I think it's going to be a pretty one. I just popped it out like that. I haven't even touched it yet. Oh, that's pretty. That's going to be a pretty one, I do believe. Let's wipe her down a little bit and see what we get. Oh, look at that, folks. Man, nice and green. Look how green and pretty that is. Let's get this side a little bit. This will probably be the cruddy side, of course. Well, if you metal detect, if you don't, you'll find out if you ever do. That on a coin, usually one side's really nice, and the other side is 1892. Usually kind of cruddy, but look, I think I can see full liberty and everything on that thing, man. Yeah, that is one good shape. I about rubbed the patina off of that side. Wish I wouldn't have rubbed so hard now. Thought it was going to be a lot cruddier. Wow, that is really nice. All right, back here at Beeping the Block, this house here. And uh, hopefully, I'll, maybe I'll have a third video from this place, huh? All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey folks, we're back and I got something that's really close to the surface. I just thought it was going to be like a plaid dime actually, but it's something else and I can't make it out and I thought we'd kind of try to reveal it together with the phone and the camera on the phone. That's that still. It says it's like Justin and Company or something. Or nine. Some more here. Austin and Company. And then it's got a nine. It's hold. I wonder if that's like a motel room key. Kind of looks like something like that, you know, with the hole in it and stuff. I don't think there's nothing on this side. Some dimples. Or some little dotting or something. I don't know. But hey, that's awesome. I like that. I never have found anything like that before. Uh, I think there's some, maybe some more writing right in there, but I'm not, I don't think so now that I look at it again. That's just a crud on it. Well, hey, I'm happy to have that, though. We'll try to figure that out later. That's one of the, you know, the fun things about this hobby. You find stuff, man, you learn stuff all the time, and, you know, you get to go home and research and try to figure that out, and hopefully I can figure this one out. I'd like to bugs you when you can't do <laughs> all right thanks for watching for now bye all right folks we're back and i got this little piece here i don't know what it is i think maybe it's tacoed over, but I don't know. I thought I saw writing on it. And then I got a big old spoon handle. Whoop! <laughs> to hold it back. It took me forever to find it. There's so many square nails in one little hole, man. Huh. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to look it up. Maybe it's part of us spoon handle or something you know I don't know I don't know if it's supposed to be like that oh you know what I think it may be some kind of clip I ain't for sure you know like yeah because there's a maybe a hinge on the side some kind of clip see there it is a clip that's awesome I have to look that up and try to figure out what that is, what kind of clip that is. But I think I'm going to call it for a day today on the beeping the block here.
and uh, I got plenty more signals so anyway I don't know but uh, I'll catch you at the next hole wherever it's at bye All right, folks, we're back, and we're at this old Victorian on beeping the block on the far end of this block right here in front. You see there? Okay, I did down down that way all five houses. This is the corner one going to that that direction. <laughs> all right, but I got a uh, good signal here. I got a good feeling about it's in the 90s on the simplex, and I'm running the park. Park one, I guess it is. And uh, I thought we tried to rebuild together. Maybe nothing. Maybe a memorial penny, but sounded sure good. I get it. Yeah, that was. It seemed deep too. Nothing. Like a, how is this? Like a silver number. That would be a memorial penny. Uh oh, I see the black soil pop out right there. Oh, yeah, this is going to be an old quarter probably. Yep. Alrighty. Well, thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, folks, we're back here at the other end of the block and uh, protecting or beeping the whole block. Right down at the end of this block, you can maybe even see the stop sign right there. See it? There's my finger. I focus on my finger, but right above my finger, I'm going to take my finger away. In the middle of the screen. Right there. Okay, that house is the Victorian bungalow where I found that Boy Scout Excelsior shoe token. Well, look, folks. A block away, and I'm pretty sure I'll find another one. I saw the little guy on the horse. Yep, there's a good luck token. <laughs> they must have given one away everybody on the block or, or down the road. It's walking down the road handing them out or something. <laughs> Check it out. It does something. That's awesome. I like it though. I like tokens. You know what? This one may be just a little bit different. I think it is. I don't know how to check it out when I get home, but. Hey, man, I'm happy for it, though. Either way, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. Hey folks, we're back. And I had tooth pulled, so I can't really talk. <laughs> but anyway, I got a cool badge. Let you see it and go on. Got a bunch of crud right there. Can't get it off. Anyway, I'll let it get cleaned up later and let you see it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey folks, we're back here again. Still trying to talk, so just ask your forgiveness. But look what I just found. Another music band button. I do believe Civil War era. The last one kind of matched up, but it's hard to say for 100%. But this is a tough one. The other was a coat. We'll look when we get home a little closer, but pretty, uh, pretty awesome in my book. Two of them out of the same yard. Thanks for watching. Bye. Folks, we're back and I think I got a little ring in it for sure here. I think it is. 
Is that supposed to be the stone or where the stone was? Hmm. Yeah, little old ring. Looks pretty old. Hmm. Yeah, that is the stone. Well, that's black onyx. Pretty cool. Well, hey, thanks for watching, folks. Bye. Bye. All right, folks, welcome to the wrap up. This is three of three of our series of beeping the block. This should be the last one. I think I pretty well hammered it, and of course, you know. As they always say, nothing's hunted down. They go back and piddle around, but uh, I got through most of the backyards and stuff, so I think this will be the last video I make anyway. I may go back and play around and see if I can find some more seeded dimes or something. You know, who knows? The Saxon Horde or something. Hey, let's get into this, but before we do, again, as always, like I always say, some of these items are not in the video. I found them, but didn't take a video of them, so, you know, don't get all wound tight if you don't, you know, if you see something that wasn't in the video, but that's just how it always is. I just try to film some more of what I think is interesting or, you know, and there's probably some other things you may think is interesting, I don't or whatever, but hey, to each his own and all that good stuff, but let's just get right into this so it's not a million miles long, this wasn't in the video, but it's an old harmonica re. Uh, this here is, I think, it, it is really solid, folks, it's hard to tell, you know, tell you how, you know, just solid it is, it's fragile up here, but down here, man, that thing is solid and I don't know if the primer's missing out. It was a bullet of some sort. I think I, you know, can faintly see some markings, and so I don't know. You can make your own decision. This here is a little spaceman, I guess. It's plastic though. Found it in the curb strip, and just uh, digging a hole, kind of like you know, bonus fine marble. I love my old square nails, and I got this one here. I'll probably put on electrolysis at one point or another. But uh, anyway, that's what's there. Uh, uh, this is uh, a, uh, you know, safety razor shaving handle. I found many of these, but didn't put it in the video. This is a great big old serving spoon handle, or the, not the handle, but the end of it. I was going to say the handle is missing. I got some wheats here. I don't know why. I usually put them up, but they were in the bucket. I try to keep everything separated. And then this was in the video, big old honking key plate. I'd like to have seen the skeleton key. I, I tell you, I'd give anything to have that key. But man, my goodness, I don't look. There, you know, there's next to that serving spoon, and there's an Indian head, and you know, some keys. This thing is crazy. These weren't in the video, but it cut a couple old keys. Uh, this was pretty cool, like suspender clip, garter clip, or something. Still kind of operates. It's you know lost its spring and all that, but kind of cool. Then I love this uh, old Lone Ranger Deputy Badge. And I, hey, by the way, I looked at these numbers here. And, uh, you know, on the ones I saw, they were different. So they must have made all these numbers different. So I thought that was kind of cool. Something else kind of cool about this, it has this thing. You see these right there? You bend those back, and this is like a, supposed to be like a supposed to be like a secret compartment here. And I guess it had a little paper in there, you know, of some stuff, codes or something. But anyway... When I opened it, I thought, I'm going to look in there in case, you know, a kid put, you know, you never know what a little kid will put in there. And I kind of found, like, I thought was what looked like a remnant of some paper that just had, you know, disintegrated. But I, I love this. I love this. It's cool. I put it on uh, electrolysis to get it. You know, it had big old chunks of crud on it. It was in the hole with something else that stuck to it. And that's why it stained right there and there. But I finally got it pretty well clean as good as I could. And I love it, though. All right, I had uh, one good coin out of this hunt. Nice old Indian. And this one you can still see Liberty on. Maybe if I can get it to zoom in, see. Liberty on the headdress. It's pitted, though. Other than that, pretty bad. If it wasn't for that pitting, it'd be a really nice coin. 1892. Pretty old one. All right. Uh, 
if you watch our earlier videos, our second one, I don't want to give it away if you haven't, but I find a seeded coin and uh, it was 1891, so same house, just the other side of the house. And this is pretty cool. This is a cuff button of a either music band button. I do believe this is Civil War, uh, just from the back marks and different things. But I did find the coat button in this same yard, and uh, it's, uh, that's in the second video. Like I said, I hate to be giving this stuff away if you haven't watched it. I'll go back and watch it. But uh, in the first video, the house next to this one where I find this and the coat button is where I found the GAR button, the Grand Army of the Republic button. Like I said, I hate to give all that away, but anyway. Hey, this is pretty awesome, but this is a uh, Excelsior Shoe Company token, and uh, they made the like the first uh, shoe official shoe for the Boy Scout. But I found the same token, this is it right here, about two weeks prior to finding this one, about a block apart. I was, you know, I said, man, they must have been going down a block, block, passing those out to the kids or something. Someone, but uh, anyway, it's kind of cool to find two of them. This one here, I think, is in better shape than this one. And this is really awesome. Uh, this is a, a tool uh, tag, a tool check tag, I do believe, from Austin and Company. And it says number nine. And with some help, I figured out, or we figured out with the help, that this is a old mill, flour mill, uh, here in our town. So it's pretty historic. And if you haven't seen some, you know, pictures already in the video, uh, I'm gonna put some at the end as well uh, of uh, a uh, advertisement for this. So what we found uh, for that flour company. Apparently, one had burnt. Uh, some kind of flour company had burnt, and this company had rebuilt, bought it out, or something. It kind of that's kind of way I figured it out, or you know read into it i should say but that's awesome to be able to track down what that is or what company that was and i love this folks i love these old vintage rings but this i do believe is that um oh what's that called black onyx stone and look at that i love how that looks it's just an old lady's ring and you know not an old lady but an old vintage ladies ring and it's so cool to find something like that i have an old uh, cameo kind of similar to this and it's gold this was like a silver color it's not precious but the color is like a silver plating and that one was a gold plating that, that i love as well but this is awesome if you want to see that cameo it was uh, the video called wow truly family treasures is the video I find that cameo ring but hey listen thanks for watching we hope that you uh, really enjoy our videos and uh, if you do please give us a thumbs up a like hit the subscribe button and uh, you know we're trying to put out a video every week and then you know hit that notification bell it will let you know when it goes out we've been trying to put, put them out on Wednesday in the morning sometime but again I uh, hope that you like this enjoy Rest of your day, night, whatever time you're watching. Bye. Troubles he never planned. Had full 
sorrow plays a hard work man but his trouble seemed distant she held his hand and together they just journeyed on 